are going to continue our lesson by trying to solve these examples. So we have been asked to factorize the following completely. Now, if I have number one says 53.8 all squared minus 46.2 all squared, we are asked to factorize this or simplify this without the use of um, a calculator. So if I have 53.8 all squared minus 46.2 all squared, we are saying that we shouldn't use a calculator, so which means we have to use the difference of two squares. So if we have 53.8 plus 46.2, and then we have 53.8 minus 46.2. So the idea of the difference of two squares being a squared minus b squared, a minus b, a plus b, or vice versa. So the same way, I write this as 53.8 plus 46.2, where this is my a and this is my b. So I have a plus b and then a minus b. Now, if we should add this, okay, so we have 53.8 plus 46.2. If we should add it, 8 plus 2 is um, 10, so 0 carry 1. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. 0 carry 1, so 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. So we 100.0, which is the same as 100. Then over here, 8 minus 2 is 6. Point now, this will be 53 minus 46, which will give us 7. Okay? So we have 7.6. So 100 times 7.6, which will mean we are moving the decimal point to the right. So this becomes 760. So it's as if I have 100 times 7.6. In standard form, I'm moving this twice. So it becomes 760. So our final answer is 700. 60. So first, we started by expressing this in difference of two squares. We solved, and then we have our answer for this as 100, and this as 7.6. So when we multiply, we get 760. If you should solve it this way, 53.8 times 53.8 minus 46.2 times 46.2, and you should solve it with a calculator. We are going to mark you now, and this is wrong. So this is the right method of solving it by the use of uh, difference of two squares. In the next example, first in two, let me write it first. M squared minus two M N plus N squared minus nine R. Now in this example, we realize that we have m squared minus 2mn plus n squared minus 9r. Now, if I should have this same example and I have, let's say, um, m squared minus 2mn plus n squared minus 9r squared. Now, we can see this as difference of two squares. It's very clear. And this is another term which we can factorize. So if I should factorize m here, I have m minus 2n. And then here will be uh, plus n minus 3r, n plus 3r. If I should express this in difference of two squares, there's nothing that can factorize again, which makes this wrong. So what we are going to do is, we are going to treat the first three terms as a quadratic expression. Okay? So 1 times 1. Like we saw, factorize for any quadratic expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. But we multiply the a times c, okay? Look for the factors and then get the middle term. When we add, we get the middle term. So 1 times 1 is 1. Give me two numbers. When I multiply, I get 1. When I add, I get minus 2. And the factors are minus 1, minus 1. If I should subtract minus 1 times minus 1, if I should multiply them, I'll get positive 1. And if I should add them, I get what? Minus 2. So this can be written as m squared minus mn minus mn plus m squared, all this minus 9r. So minus mn minus mn is minus 2mn. And um, 1 times 1 
is also one. So we have um, minus mn and then minus mn as our factors. So when we add, we get the middle term. So now we are going to factorize this. We are going to factorize what we have here, m squared minus mn minus mn plus n squared minus 9r. We are going to treat this separately. We are going to treat this one separately and also treat this one separately. So what is common here? If I have m squared minus mn, it means m is common. I have m out, we shall have m minus n. What is also common here? Minus n, I have m minus n. So that this times this will give me this. This times this will give me this. All this minus, this can also be represented by 3 squared and then square root of r, also all squared. So this is going to give us this is going to give us m minus n, m minus n, half, m minus n. And then the one outside it is also m minus n. So minus 3 square root of r, also all squared. So this is giving us m minus n all squared because this is twice of m minus n. So we have m minus n all squared minus 3 root r, also all squared. Now, we have the difference of two squares coming into play here. So this can be represented by, assuming the whole of this is my A, and the whole of this is my B. So we are saying that A squared minus B squared is A minus B, A plus B. So I'm going to assume that my M minus N is my A, and then my three root R is my B. So I have A squared minus B squared. This becomes A, this is M minus N, minus b minus 3 root r and then a m minus n plus b so plus 3 root r so this is our factorized expression now in question 3 if we are asked to factorize this expression 9a squared minus 4 into a minus b all squared now we can see this as difference of two squares. This is also a squared number, which can be expressed as the difference of two, a square, which is two squared, and this is a minus b all squared. Now, we have two ways of solving this. But the best way is for you to express this as difference of two squares. So if I should write this as three squared a squared, which is the same as nine a squared, minus Two squared, which is the same as four, into a minus b all squared. Until I get a square of this minus a square of this, it is not difference of two squares. So I'm going to write this as three a all squared minus two into a minus b. Also, let me use a curly bracket here. Also, all squared. So that the square in here. The square here will affect this and also affect this. So we have the difference of two squares now. So assuming this is my A and this is my B, again, I can express this as 3A minus B. So my B is 2 into A minus B. That's my first one. And then my second one will be 3A, which is my A. So 3A plus 2 into A minus B. Which is my second one. So I have a minus b, a plus b. So at this end or at this denture, we can't leave our answer this way. We need to simplify further because the one in the bracket we can expand and then simplify further. So this becomes 3a minus 2a plus 2b. And this will give us 3a plus 2a minus 2b. If we should simplify further, 3a minus 2a is a plus 2b. And then 3a plus 2a is 5a minus 2b.